again at a Renegade Masters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> beep up, up. Who's going to do it? But uh, Red, Reds are here on board today. It's uh, happening already. The crew. Chris Fields, Fashion Be Light once again, you know what I mean? Becoming about that. Reoccurring <laughs> team. But uh, how's the crack anyway, Red? Back from yeah. Canada, is it, is it hard to climatise the Dublin, the Dublin weather, you know, since you're back? No, it's fucking pretty much the same over there, it is here. It's like it's weird. I got there, it was like 24 degrees for two weeks. Then it was overcast for a week, and then it was snow. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, what the fuck? So, yeah, it's grand. According, it's, according to Connor, though, did you just get uh, concussions from the air over there, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bit much. Whoa. <laughs> but um, what was it like over there, man? Obviously, this yeah. is like one of the biggest teams in the world. Everyone, like, you know, infamous, obviously, because of George St. Pierre, Rory McDonald. Did it live up to the expectation? Yeah, we enjoyed myself over there. I thought it was great. Um, the dorms is a bit. There's like two sides of the dorms, one side is like. Uh, it's it's uh, fairly dodgy no it's not dodgy it's just like it's not as nice as the other side right 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 funny. and then the other side that we were on like uh, yeah that's 100% so I think I was running with Stevie Ray was Duffy there was Breeze there was Random Marco there was a few of them there who, so who, who, who decides what side of the dorm you get thrown on man? I don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah just is it like the more money like, offer at the start you get the nicer dorm What's the no start? I was like I just got there the little favours you can do for someone in the back <laughs> office or? I just got there and I was like thrown in with uh, Stevie Ray and was grand. He's a, a funny fucker he is. Yeah. Funny fucker, yeah. He's a good lad. And, yeah. Um, does that help? I mean, obviously, you do this a lot as well, Chris. Obvi- all these kind of preparing to get up for the one fight because there's a lot of Troy Star guys in that card. Do- no, sorry, there was Stevie. Three. Stevie, yeah, like, there's a good, time, yeah. a good crew. Like, does that kind of help you when you're over there? Because kind of lets you catch up on the buzz as well because, I mean... We didn't know. Well, we didn't have a buzz. I wasn't on the fucking car. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a big fucking letdown. Like, uh, but you know. we used to do this in the Cage Warriors cards. Paul and, and Neil used to come over and spar with yeah. us leading up to it, you know. Mm-hmm. And it was good because everyone's kind of like on the same buzz mm-hmm. coming up to the fight. Like, it's, it's a really it's good like, buzz. Just okay. before he sold out and started yeah. training with the enemy, you know what I mean? Like, go over and give tips on air guys to fucking everyone else. I was actually going to get a Canadian bottle, you know, the beer. I was going to put up on Facebook and drink it and say, fuck you, this country. But, uh, yeah, now look, I get what Chris is saying. Um, like, once everyone's like, sort of training for a fight at the same time, everyone's like, cutting weight together, miserable together. So it just made sense. I could eat what I wanted over there, but I actually didn't. I was like, I was kept it fairly clean because the lads were cutting weight. It just made life a little bit easier, you know? Yeah. But like, was there any point, like, we were sure you were going to be announced late on the card. Remember, we were even talking yeah, about, like, yeah. literally, like, for, for some reason, we thought, like, three weeks out. Oh, we oh, yeah. go. <laughs> so you text me fucking two or three days. You put, actually put it on my fucking, yeah, on my Facebook back. page. It was like, oh, yeah, I hope you're in shape for, like, 155 the weekend. Or something. It was like, why did you hear that? And he's like, oh no, I'm just saying, like, there could be a pull saying, out. Just saying, <laughs> hope you're in shape. <laughs> hope you're in shape. Like, there could be a pull out. And a day, a day, day later, then, like, there's a pull out. And, uh, to be honest, like, from from my perspective I think you'd be mad to do that right now I think you deserve a full camp you deserve to know who your opponent is for six to eight weeks at least you know that kind of way you deserve that at this point I know when the call comes you have to take it and whatever but at the same side like I think you've kind of done that now Uh, it's time to go back get a full camp and get in there and uh, like like yeah, look, um, I've said to Andy, I'll take a, a, a fight on three or four weeks at lightweight. Yeah. Cause that's what I used to do for yeah, cage warriors. Right. Yeah, cut twenty pounds for lightweight, um, easy. Uh, and I'm training uh, like all the time, but for featherweight, like you have to give me like two, two and a half months, yeah. ten weeks. Yeah. Um, plus, like you said, I've already done one shot notice fight, so we'll see. I don't really want to take another shot notice fight, and then if you like, obviously mm. you don't go all on three. In the OC, yeah, five even if you're doing favors, like, yeah. yeah, you have to win the next one, regardless, whatever way you could, yeah. you know. Yeah, and that's is that like I remember you, we obviously did that interview about you going back to Louisville. Like, ideally, you don't want you don't want to go back to 145. Is that no? <coughs> look, I can make the 45 with enough time. It's uh, it's yeah, miserable for the two and a half months. Mm. Like, you're just all it is is what to eat for fucking two and a half months basically it becomes a bit crazy doesn't it I, oh, like there's a lot of because uh, I, I read up a lot on diet and all this kind of stuff and there's a lot of wrestlers in America like in college wrestlers they become bulimic and they stuff they stunt their growth like. yeah they start they start eating and puking up because uh, it's all about just what you eat yeah. you know and they get so obsessed with it and that's all you think about with Paul I tell you that's all it you're thinking about the stage, stuff you can't have like. it got to the stage yeah. like where <laughs> as, as, don't start saying nah, nah, you were like, licking it, things it, it was, no no it was nothing like that so um, eating his missus lip gloss yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that camp uh, Joseph Clipper did like army training nutrition uh, fitness wise unbelievable coach and he was like look it was a half a kilo a week 
it's perfect and then we'll you know the, do the whole lot at yeah. the end but I was getting to the stage where I was like four weeks out and I still like had say 10 11 kilos to go or 10 kilos even and I was I would come in in the evenings take strip off all my clothes get on the scales get back on have something to eat go to bed or on my way to bed I look at the again. scales yeah, I do that. Right, clothes yeah. off back on the scales weigh yourself the next morning have something to eat right, what am I have to put on and I was like Andy and I were saying to me like, just, the weight will come off just just fucking chill out so uh, I did um, yeah got down as far as I could I had was it 30, 35 pounds or something oh it? for that one for the, for the force yeah. one, I think it was like Every, uh, the, everyone and was you saying you've never like, been down there before hadn't you not so this was just like I don't even think I came down with my man at 66 <laughs> kilos <laughs> <laughs> with that count there's not much chance I wouldn't say like. <laughs> yeah it, it was just uh, everyone had asked me then that call had come in on a Thursday that was a that was a mental day it was a mental two weeks I, I just done uh, the whole thing is a blur to be honest Um Andy gave me a ring. He says, "How fast can you make uh, 66? I was like, uh, "Yeah, six weeks." He's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, "What about oh, one? Yeah. How would you feel about one?" That's week? what he says. Like, if I ask, "Can you make 66?" I was like, "Give me a full eight. You can't." He was like, "Well, I told Sean Shelby you can do it on five." So yeah, look, that you'd be, probably be able to do that five weeks at a push. Um, so he comes back then. No, my days, no weeks. So my days. Was, was racing and work, and uh, I came back out and he rang me again. He says, "Look, he wanted to do it in twelve days." And I was like, "No, can't be done." Just yeah. it can't be done. So like we saw the left today. It, it is the UFC and stuff like that. He uh, we just left it there that I wasn't gonna do it. And then Siri rings me like literally thirty seconds later. Uh, Send me a text actually. And he just said, uh, "Just fucking dogs make abuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> fucking what tick. What do you do? He just said, "Just fucking make the weight you big." I baby. love that. I love <laughs> Siri <laughs> cuts about a kilo to fight the bollocks. Yeah. So he's like, "Ah, oh, just make." Full training like, camp. He cuts a kilo over the whole league. Yeah, yeah. Be, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's basically what he said so I rang Andy back and I said yeah fuck it let's do it I don't yeah. want to take it's this weird abuse it's weird you. that at this stage you still don't know to go fuck off <laughs> you don't know what you're talking yeah. you just you just all right you're right I look at you but right, it's man. hard look at man you spend your whole career like like you've done interviews in this and I feel the same as well I'm not caught up on the, the UFC thing at all like I just like fighting yeah. you know it's it's going it'd be nice to make enough money to fucking, course, yeah. for the rest of your life but um like you spend your whole life that this is the pinnacle of it, and then you get a phone call. It's hard to go. I won't bother my bollocks making the weight. You know, it's hard to turn them down. For you. What do you want now? I did not a fucking hope. Me making welterweight. <laughs> so, uh, I'll be so off. Like, like, like I literally couldn't make it. Like, but if someone offered me a fight in eighty four, uh, yeah, eighty four, I'd be, I'd be fucked. Like, I'd make it, but I'd well, be, be I've done it yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. You, still, be. you have a pretty substantial weight cut yourself, don't you? Yeah, it's kind of something similar to what. What do you walk around at now? About about ninety eight. 98 yeah. for 84 so 14 kilos over of, how long two weeks or yeah, about, about, two, about two or three weeks I, yeah I lose a lot Seriously. well like you know a bit comes off <coughs> in the camp we get down to probably like 94 93 when like, you're training hard yeah, yeah yeah and then everything leans up and mm-hmm. it comes off easier than when you're when you're more muscle on you you sweat easier like. mm. and so like I mean what what do you ideally when would you like to get back in there yeah um, like, do you have any in your head do you look, I'd love to go on the Boston card love it Boston um, but I don't think it's going to happen there, you were there for now were you no, Neil never played. No, Neil wasn't on that one. Oh, you guys won it. Yeah, yeah, I'd deadly. Yeah, great yeah, experience, yeah. You should um, definitely go over to that. Yeah. I think the, I think the, the, the card is full, though, actually. Uh, Remember, we, yeah, we were looking at all the cards, like... Pfft. No, I, told you, I, was, I was doing that again yesterday. I was like, who's going to pull out 155? Who's going to pull out? And to be honest, that that weekend where there's, like, three cards back-to-back, there's, like, three or four lightweights on it, and there's a couple of featherweights on it, but I can't make feather on Sean Alvis, yeah. and the 55 that's on it I don't think they put me against that like some of them are ranked and stuff like that yeah, yeah. so um, yeah I think the only lightweight on the Boston card is Pearson and Trinaldo right so look London makes sense you know what I mean yeah. money is down throw away just put me on fucking some cards is there another European card then soon after London I think no London, London's the next one and they haven't February I said they'll have something like yeah, Germany or something right Poland, after Germany, and yeah there's a few there. now like so yeah. and France legalised their rights so yeah. that's right well, they, so they they they're definitely that's quickly France. As it happens, you know what I mean? I, don't, I always think it's going to take another year before they roll out That's a huge market, dude. Yeah. Fucking France is massive. Yeah. It's a huge market. Like. Absolutely. So it'd be, worth, like, it'd be worth their while getting in there. You really want to go over there and start them oh, out, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> the French lads can fuck up away from me. Like. <laughs> Who are you Andrew the Andrew Devant, an English guy. That's all. I'm, I do all right against so English French, guys. Though, French French, yeah, a bit French. I hope there's not much French in there. <laughs> yeah, French guys are my fucking enemy. Like they, There's some issue there. I don't know what this is. <laughs> they train their whole lives to me. Yeah, yeah, they're all just built to beat lanky fucking. Yeah, or I just do dumb shit, one or the other. Like. <laughs> but uh, when you when you uh, the whole thing, the year like 
you've obviously left your job. This is like your first year as a full time mixed marital artist. And like, look how well that's gone for me. I know, but <laughs> Let's go back to getting the job. Yeah. But it, it's a huge, it's a huge kind of like moment. Do you know what I mean? Where you leave your job and now you have this. This is your sole purpose, and then you're waiting for a fight. It's how it gets frustrating just waiting sometimes. Yeah, it? it does. Like um, after the Sweden card, I was like, uh, yeah, hopefully they give me enough notice for to make further then. And they did, they did fair play, and they gave me like three and a half months. Uh, to get ready for Scotland so really good and you look good you look really good at the way then yeah I still had to take a shitload of water off. I couldn't get my body for any lower um, I sh- still had what's to take what's that it. when you're when you're stuck I think it was like 4% body fat Obviously you're not going much lower than that anyway, couldn't get it any yeah, lower naturally like, like you can't go much lower I could not get it it's uh, dangerous to be floating around them le- levels for too long two I it? think is like really yeah um, and I still had to take like, a stone off me the last 12 hours I just couldn't I just couldn't, yeah. couldn't get it any lower I, I was eating like literally one small meal a day, like one and a half small meals a day. Like, uh, but see, like but see still two two the problem is, is that for the first time ever, you've been a full time fighter, so you were training, like probably lifting weights more than you've ever been. Lifting you put on muscle, muscle okay, you know what I mean? Fucking, yeah. uh, sprints. Uh, it basically was uh, a two, three sessions a day, six days. You're probably week, weighing the else. same though, with far more, uh, like like far less body fat on than you than you had been before, yeah, where yeah, you could yeah. cut more, you know. Size and stuff. Yeah, he was. You could see the difference in his physique. Look at that just take it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a now. fucking dad bod yeah. now, so it doesn't actually matter. Like, <laughs> well, if I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it back. Kids, yeah, that's why I want to go back. I mean, to haven't even shaved it. That's how fucking bad I am at the moment. Like. Well, I suppose we better talk about the uh, the head kick heard around the world there at the weekend. I mean, yeah. every the thing that I was saying to Red on the way up was the reaction the people have had. Crazy, to was wasn't it? That was Look, I mean, bastard, you're seeing MMA media guys laughing. Yeah. This is hilarious. You're yeah. like, are you joking me, man? I tell you, I tell you, I think uh, a lot of people have that opinion just because the way she carries herself. Mm. But like, they didn't have it before. I don't remember yeah, everyone coming up before saying, I hope like, she lose. Like, you know, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I think people, like, and, and I, I heard someone and I kind of got pissed off because they're like, oh, that's a real Irish thing. I was like, the whole world is reacting this way. It's not yeah. just Irish lads yeah, going, yeah. like, oh, just, just people, goes just, oh, yeah, my favourite is, though, uh, well, she finally met a boxer and yeah. now, now now, you see what boxing's about. She got knocked out with a head kick, mate. Yeah. That completely, <laughs> yeah. that's it. That's the that end was, of that that's, argument. That's game plan issue again, I think, really. They're trying to come inside of a boxer like that when she's Listen, jabs in her face. for me, like, for me. But she like, stated the game plan on, a, on some show months yeah. ago. She yeah, like, she's gonna, gonna, yeah. gonna watch the distance. She's gonna look for a head kick. Yeah. So she, she knew, knew what she was gonna do. Yeah. She but knew the game like, plan down to the left. For me and and you do too. Uh, both of us do a lot of cornering. Like right, yeah. her cornerman had the first time in her whole career he had to be a good cornerman. The first time he had to give her advice and he fucked it up. Seriously, he fucked it up. Yeah. He, like that's the first time he's ever had to like kind of guide her in a direction, and he couldn't he couldn't manage it. He just he just <laughs> you're doing great. Yeah, yeah well, you're I'm doing doing great. Yeah, you're doing great. I'm getting the head poked on me. I'm lo- look at my face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, beautiful. Work. Yeah, but like I, I was just saying the red. Like I mean, rather than I've clean. seen this with BJ Penn's guys. Yeah, BJ like, Penn's yeah, corner. Yeah, BJ, you do. He's getting battered, mate, yeah. and he's phenomenal. Tell yeah. him to take the guy One down. The greatest. Like, yeah, at, like uh, as far as ability is concerned. Yeah, of course. But um. Like, I mean, what what do you think? Like, I mean, they're going to obviously rematch these guys. Are they just going to have Ronda drill them, like, double legs from a few yards out? Like, do you think Ronda will have the urge again? Or, like, oh, she's going to get paid the money. I think she's an ultimate competitor, like. Yeah, I, I don't think, know. I think, what, I think it makes sense to go back, because then people will say, like, if you, if she quits now or whatever, if she just goes off. Yeah, she was um, never the best, like. Yeah. She she'll quit when the going got hard, like, yeah. people just say, like. So this will probably either make or break her, you know? Yeah, I mean? as, they, back, as they you know? say. Like, well, and I mean... Me and you have been mocha, made or break a few times, yeah, have we? We're, we're, still break, we're still there. there you know we're still there. We're still there achieving away, Red. <laughs> but, um, do you know, uh, like, do you guys... Like, I like, uh, no idea, like, because uh, I'm not a competitor. Like, do you guys get a lot of... Sh- do you have to put up with stuff like that? Do you know what? We've actually been all right. Oh, yeah. you don't get much either. I think you just feel sorry for me and Red. Open the floodgates. Open <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Floodgates. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't get a lot. I, like, some of my training partners do. It's just fucking... People are just idiots. Really? Which training partners yeah. are you saying? Well, that? all of them, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any of the lads in the Carl UFC. Gets Carl gets it rough. Carl fucking gets Connor, it yeah. Connor gets it rough, too. But, then, like, look, but that's what I'm saying. Connor just Connor laughs at them, though. Even though this is, like... Even though this is a... A very... A far more even contest on... Like, for, from the perception for the people. Like, I can imagine people losing their shit if, if Connor if Connor lost, like, in, in uh, December. You get a similar they, kind they, of... They, like, they... They go on and say like they talk about his strike and being shit and all. Yeah, like don't be ridiculous. Like, lads, just stop being fucking stupid. But like, 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 like,
that sitting in a pub that had never thrown a yeah. bit of jab in their life, yeah. you know what I mean? So And they battered some lad in school fifteen years ago and they reckon they're phenomenal. Every time. Oh man, that one time. That one thing that one time. That's the, that's who's creating these bleeding memory fucking yokes yeah. on Facebook and all. And they're laughing, you know, so but man has a big foot. The fuck's a memory? Oh, you yeah, know them the the memes. Is that what it is? No, oh. my, my missus works in uh, digital marketing and she said it actually is called a memory. So Look at this lad! So we have got bollocks. Is that really Graham Hill though? Is it meme memory? You know. <laughs> Go on, you nerd. You know exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> No, you're I thought it was a meme too. <laughs> you're, de- you're both wrong. Right? <laughs> my, my, my girlfriend's right. My oh, girlfriend's right. right. <laughs> but um, those people who's uh, creating them leading things on Facebook and having a laugh, we're just sitting on a big, big fucking paycheck there. To be, to be fair, though, there was one Street Fighter one. I laughed my bollocks on Which one? The street, like it's like the music round one, and they oh, start moving. Bah, 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 and it's like you know, the energy bar is going down. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a disgrace. Oh, that, was, that meme was. Oh, that, that, that was that was good. Like, ah, look, some like sometimes I've got stick of laughs. Some lad said uh, Chris Fields he'd be a really good looking lad if his teeth didn't look like a pick offence. <laughs> I said, like, good work, Christ. man. Good fucking work. That that is good. That this, is fucking good. Like, yeah, I've, I've been in a gym with Neil Seer to give yeah, me a stick. Yeah, yeah so exactly. Stick, like, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So you can't be. When that. he strikes me, I just don't say anything. I'm just like, what you eventually say? it will stop. Just yeah. But like, like as a, as an Irish lad growing up. Like you know, th- this is what the Americans don't get with Connor. There's, there's loads of Connors. This is literally how we all grow. We just yeah. slag each other. Slag each other. So, and if you get thick about it, you get more stick. Yeah. Oh, and it infuriates. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so like that's what I mean. When when someone says like it's very rare for me. Like but when someone says that, and I just kind of like I'll actually wrote I'll write underneath it. Ah, brilliant. That was yeah, a good yeah. one. Like you so know? the best thing to do when Siri does it, it gives you a load of stick, and all it gives you some amount of stick. <laughs> Like, just like it yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you know and then just walk off yeah. Jesus doing. he needs to back off L. John Redmond doesn't he like like someone has to he, no, he cuts him to the bone I know it, but I think the they're, I yeah. think yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why he is and he just John, that's yeah, yeah that's why he does it like, like it. John and Boy are, are at that all day and then what yeah. happened is Siri's like a pure Facebook troll right? so this is what he, he does loves the internet, he right? loves it he loves it he'll see something like John Redman it's like the greatest invention ever he'll see something like John Redman posting the video shower about <coughs> 3 o'clock in the morning doing what he'll see it the next day jump on it put a load of stuff on it and then he, he just logs off so John Redman's talking Gone bananas, at nothing. Yeah, bananas yeah. talking at the wall there and Neil doesn't see it till later on that night and then just laughs at it <laughs> like, he's a pure Facebook troll does, so, does John not know though does John not know what way he's going on like or he just, just, or just he, just, he gets, sees a, he gets emotional yeah it's hard to not it's hard to not yeah 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 I think it's funny though. I think oh, I love oh, it. it's, it's my favourite thing. Like, yeah. the, uh, there's a reason I'm on Facebook. Him and I've, I've just recently become a friend with Carl Roach, and I told oh, you. Oh, Carl Roach is a maniac. Yeah. Just seen the thing I showed you in the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Took some shit there in Rhino the other day. Yeah, listen, uh, <laughs> listen. Don't, don't, don't follow Carl Roach if you have uh, weak <laughs> sensibilities, because oh. the man will. Yeah, he he goes there. Yeah, and he's, beyond he's a lot real. of the time, like <laughs> and beyond. Yeah. Um. So like, for you then. Coming through your group of lads, like who who's who do you think are the next group of lads to come through from Rhino? Well, obviously we have our own guys in SPG, yeah, but um I think everybody knows Patrick's been around the long world uh Patrick Wickstead. I know we took a, a bit of a hiatus there for a year or two. But he's back now, he's back to winning ways. Um you know, his record doesn't do him just as his brown belt and yeah. jiu-jitsu and training at ten, eleven years, you know, given he has an awesome skill set. Like even striking is very good. Cool. That, that guy punches the nut at me in, in, in <laughs> training. So he, do you think he's one of those lads? Like he'll just, um, you know, the, the results are mixed, and then he'll just find his feet. And he'll I think he's at the front of his yeah, feet. He had a confidence enough. He had that a first pro fight a good few years back against um, that guy Neil fought in cage where Carl Harrison. I think his name is good boxer. He ended up beating Patrick, but then. That's when Patrick went on. Well. Yeah, that, that yeah. goal is good. So Patrick went on and missing this then for two years and without Patrick and stuff. Came back trying and then had a, a bit of a, a big fight to sort of say the least out in uh, Lithuania. I saw that fight, yeah. Seven, it was weird, skill, weird rule set. Weird he, he was doing great on the fight. He knew the rule set going in. Yeah. I think maybe the, the, the okay, crowd, okay. it was 7,000 people sold yeah, out. Like, yeah. It was like fighting in the old two. Mm. They came out, did the pride thing, walking down with our flags, ring girls, fire everywhere, dancers in the halls. I think, just think the event got to him from not fighting for two years in between and then uh, he came out and rocked, rocked yeah. by him. Then. So I think Patrick, Huey's um, 
coming through then as well. He's had a lot of good wins lately. Um, has he fought pro yet, or is he still amateur? No, he's, still, uh, amateur. he's still amateur. I think he's, he's young though. He yeah, he is. Young. I think he's right to be staying yeah. amateur. Yeah, I mean, I think he's in on paper he's, on, he's only had like six or seven uh, fights because he went for about a year off then as well. Now, that that kid is is unbelievable. Like, like see, was you know, you know, you know the kids yeah. that are like yeah. real flexible. Unbelievable on the ground. I actually ended up. I like. I ended up. I think you, you might have been there, but I ended up arriving at a show and uh, someone said they wouldn't ref the teen fight, and then everyone just looked at me. I don't know if you were there, but all the lads were mine, and it was Yui's fight, and they were like, "He won't be able to fight unless you do it, Chris." And I was there. Oh, oh that was years. It was fine, Amber, was it? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I was doing it, and like, I didn't even know where to stand. I was like, <laughs> "What do I do?" Like, and he was in, but it was over like that, and I was like, "Thanks, dude." Nice, and that could save me a lot of shit. Like. <laughs> I mean, the, the Mark is someone I always I, I always think like when you look at these teenagers and who, who's going to break through like, and you saw in Huey's last fight like he was in a lot of trouble there yeah, and he managed yeah. to come through and get the yeah. armor he, he just stayed pinged. in the moment like, you yeah. know what I mean he got pinned with a right hand a left hand there yeah. thrown in it <coughs> see they're all so good this that, is the, that, just, the problem is is that like it's, the problem is now trying to keep them away from each other so they all get to a it's, point it's, you know, it, kind like, of it's inevitable because yeah, they're yeah. all so small with that li- especially like the you local know, shows are Bama or even but even those. even uh, Huey's way so 57 um, just not that many fellas that no. way that age that can make yeah. that 57 I remember Caffrey had to go up and fight a bantamweight and featherweight because he had no he had no flyweights to really fight and then like thing. and then on the other scale you don't want kids cutting that much weight at yeah, amateur not level not at to, you know to be cutting at all um, so for me like I, I've probably said this in here before but like I think there should be a whole overhaul of how the amateur thing is done I think it should be done kind of like the MMA league like in a school hall way in the day way in the day lads shouldn't be cutting if lads look dehydrated just tell me you can't fucking fight like, you yeah. know it, 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 it's just too like, like what's happening what way do they do in boxing I know they weigh just in meet up, but they just meet up in like a club and and box. There's no, no way for, the, like, for the weights. They like, change weights quite like yeah. if they're just a little because it's all like three pounds. It's yeah. all like three or four pounds. I think that's I think that's another route MMA should go down. I know maybe the depths aren't big enough yet or whatever, but I don't think uh, ten pound, fifteen pound weight class is it's way. Oh man, much. like like you, my like I've got middleweight and then like heavy. And that's a fucking pounds, huge yeah. gap. Like, yeah. It's a huge gap. Or like. Uh, uh, and like an 87 or an 88 weight class would be perfect for me yeah. that'd be ideal for that's me that's super middleweight or something like yeah, that yeah yeah it'd be perfect that's for me. exactly where I'm at I'm not a 155 in the UFC I'm not a 45 yeah, yeah. 50 yeah I'm yeah. yeah. right yeah. in the middle I'm like, just yeah. not big enough for 55 yeah. I'm, not, I'm too big to make uh, so introduce like junior welterweight like super middleweight yeah obviously. but then you know, there's too many belts I know I understand yeah there's, there's too many belts yeah. I don't have like being 100 belts out there. I, like, that's one of the things expense. I find annoying about boxing like he's a five weight champion yeah but like he went up half a pound yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. you, you know what I mean remember that time with Tiberian like um, <clears throat> Ronda's coaching like, oh, I trained two world champions look look at them two world champions look at their divisions like, yeah. there's the only fighters in that division yeah, yeah. like you know what I mean not to say that they're not great boxers but like they're not fighting like top class opposition you know what yeah. I mean and even though even if you are you're a boxing coach you know what I mean and that's yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of people saying she needs to change gyms, but it's it's mad that he, like her coach is just a boxing coach. Yeah. Because like no, like well, no offense to her, she's a phenomenal judo player and a phenomenal. But even watching her shadow box is a little bit cringy. Like really, because like, I I wouldn't pick up on that the way you. I don't. Well, what do you Ronda's think, Paul? When you watch run the like shadow box? No, it's fair enough. Like, watch out. I watch. I, I watch like a, and she's kind of like like turning her hands like this. Really? It just looks mad awkward. Like I don't. I, I, I don't really get clued into uh, any of that. Yeah, it's, it's sort not of watching things that anymore. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I really don't. Um, but me was saying like uh, she just needs to get away. And yeah, man, that coach is really, really? A bit of a fucking creep to be honest. Neil would tell you to get away from fucking anyone. <laughs> now to come over here and train with me. <laughs> yeah, like. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now um, if they clinch it, hooks over the bleeding top run. Yeah. <laughs> Big bombs, yeah. yeah. But that's like that's the weird thing. Like 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 I said, I I could see that going. Like it's just it just didn't look fluid. It didn't look fluid or striking. Like. And then in the fight, it didn't. She's kind of marching forward. She's like her. Do you know what I think her biggest problem is her footwork? She's kind of Standing square squaring up yeah. and falling over yeah. and stuff. But like, like he should have saw that if he's a boxing coach and said, "All right, well, it's take, the, right, take so her down." But then, <laughs> but she has nothing apart from the clinch. Everything comes from the clinch. Yeah. So she has to punch her way in against yeah. a professional like, boxer. Best she went, she went You don't have to punch your way in. Again. You swing a big haymaker. She, yeah. she Mark Coleman made a career. She tied up her arm on one yeah, stage, but she couldn't be quick enough to like you know she. She couldn't get under. She was already rocked, and that's it, the thing they always say about grapplers. Yeah, you're a black belt, get punched in the yeah, face, yeah. or a brown belt, and you could literally see that. 
disintegration throughout the fight. Like you know, I actually didn't see the fight. I was just seen the little fucking the gif at the, the end. Meme, the meme, meme, okay, okay. Saw the meme, did you? Yeah. yeah. Good <laughs> meme, meme. <laughs> meme, meme. Uh, but like she just like she was kind of loading like this, and a couple of them she missed and spun herself around. Like, oh, she went down on her knee. Like she had so much weight on her front yeah, leg. Yeah. She, she hit. She, she went a hook fell. and down on her knee. Like and yeah. Holly Holmes around the other side of the cage just waiting for it. It was like an L. Like if she looks like she looks the part, doesn't she, Holly? Like whatever about her skills. Long, long, big. She looked like good on the way. She always had amazing physique. Like yeah. big fucker for the weight yeah Um, I, yeah, she, it, like some of the shots that run I don't know if she was like maybe her boxing looked sloppier just because she was trying to just fucking KO like you know that looks like more the KO you could see her but it looked angry. like Temple Bar it looked like someone outside Temple Bar she was swinging and missing and spinning around the circle kind of thing that bad yeah like it's like true. actually I'm not exaggerating that she threw a punch and spun right around that was side. how the head kick kind of came wasn't yeah it? she, she, she missed back, fell turned around that way and then oh I thought she got dropped when she went so in that's what it was straight she, left. she still threw her sloppy <laughs> shot and dropped but the, earlier on in the fight she did like a full hook landed on one knee and turned around like it was like I, I, I don't think I'd seen that, that before I don't, see, I don't think I'd seen it before in striking but like she's She's tough. She's a phenomenal grappler. Like she obviously has power in her hands because she's dropped a few yeah, girls. Sure. You know, just girls. just a little bit of crispness, I'd imagine. Like, mm. uh, but obviously he's not giving her that. Mm. You know, he's just because w- what happens. And I've seen this before. I remember actually being at a. I think it might have been. You've seen Sweden with Call, and uh, there was a lad at the back doing pads, right? And I was there to John, like, looks all right. And John said, sure, anyone can look good doing pads. Yeah, Walked yeah, in yeah. and he got battered on the feet. Because the pad man was making him look good. Yeah. And that's probably what's happened with Ronnie, you know. And she that's thinks I look... Piece. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? Like, it's like a dance. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't do pads for that. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't throw 40 punch combinations. No. You know, they're, they're pointless. I get pads one two out and I'm like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the one, two, one, two. Yeah. He just starts yeah. staring at the leg like that. And I'm looking at that ankle right now. I'm looking at that sorry. ankle. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to stop that off. But I'm like, I think pads for MMA should be done like kind of fire at your close distance. You move back out. I hate yeah. it. <laughs> what it's are you doing? Looking at the camera. It's yeah. great when I still. It's yeah. good for rhythm and, you know, just getting me over and or a sweat up bleep, but uh, getting Twitter followers. Big for that. Yeah, it's yeah. great for Twitter followers. Yeah. And your dick sucked. Other than that, like, I don't know. Yeah. Do pads with like uh, Joe? Does you use them things? The fucking the phone pads. Yeah, yeah. Or, or for movement. Yeah, yeah, for movement. Rather do that than yeah. just tip away forty punches on. Oh, so you're dipping in between as I. Yeah, and then what I like in the pads, like I was saying, is like kind of big distance, and like he'll kind of try and walk you down, or you're making angles yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. You know, like it's not stand here and go. It looks great, but it's it shy. Like, and the punches are only coming to there because your man's catching them yeah. all like this. Mm. You know, it's not great. Like, it's just a cardio workout. Yeah, I think. I think. Uh, John JJ kind of lost out on a big kind of pop that night as well because obviously the strawweight division a lot of people aren't talking about it so a lot of people haven't been talking about her and then this card seemed to really they were pushing her beside Ronda like yeah. two champions beside each other and had Ronda won like the obvious thing like people were expecting if Ronda wins then people would have stayed going oh, what about your yeah, woman Jacek, yeah. but now that it was such a shock to a lot of people that that she missed out on yeah, her yeah. Like, and I think they really invested a lot in that you know what I mean that yeah. they were trying to pour her on this kind of untouchable she would have been too small though yeah I think like like I think she is probably has a better skill set, especially on the feet. Than what Ronda. you wanted to fight Ronda? No, 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 not the oh, fight. Oh right, no, sorry. No, no, but they were just using Ronda. Oh as yeah, a the two of them. Yeah, the, as a to push, pad, push like, the women's. Yeah. And they're making a one twenty five division now for the girls, aren't they? Are they? Yeah. I tell you, I just I said something. Like I that wonder if that should be interested because she's one of the bigger strawweights. But I mean, she's she looked the last girls yeah, the last time. The last yeah. time she looked, she looked great. To be honest, like she made weight. But, but then I was talking to her in the back, and she said like um, she was working with a new nutritionist, and she said that was the easiest weight cut for one fifteen she'd ever done. Yeah. So. Like I think I think with Ash, it's just like it, when when she keeps focused and everything's like that. You get nights like that in Dublin, you and know. You could feel you could feel that yeah. every time you talk to her on the way. You could see that it. You could see it. Difference. You could see it in her, like you yeah. know. You could see it in her that like I was saying this to Connor and all, but but a week later I was like like no one was beating Ash that night. Yeah, done yeah. a fucking mad one. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean. She was there <laughs> like way, yeah. yeah. She like she like whoever was going in there, she was winning that fight. You she know? was mean as well. Like, yeah. she, like, she was standing over again. And or she couldn't pass the card with elbow, elbow yeah, inside yeah, my toy, yeah. I'll do yeah. something just to hold it. Yeah, wobbling around, around yeah, the place. Yeah. Yeah. What was that like, Paul? Like I know how it was for me, but like to be at you, you were obviously at the card. Like what, yeah. what was it like to be there, but not fighting again? Like it's fucking. It was a big fucking like. <laughs> <laughs> Use your words, Paul. <laughs> it was just shit. To be honest, uh, they could. I'd experienced it last year yeah, with, uh, with Neil and I thought. It just made fucking sense for them to put me on the card. Yeah, I like, thought so, yeah. 15 minutes down the road, 10 of you take the bleeding tunnel, you know. Yeah, yeah, me in a hotel yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just pay for the poor tunnel for me. That, that's it. Uh, and I just thought they were going to put me on the card. Um, 
it just never happened to us. But you know, I got to work out O'Neill, he did the, did the business. Yeah. So. He's got to have a little bit of a rave in the old octagon afterwards when Zombie Nation yeah. came out. <laughs> <laughs> he's mad. He's, he's dancing next to the fucking... Uh, Around. Yeah, uh, who was the ref? Poor, the poor fellas after getting beaten, like crying beside him. And so he's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing the card of dance with yeah. a few guys. <laughs> but the, I was just saying this to, to Red in the way up, and we, we kind of tried to get Siri to talk about it a bit, but of course, he won. Well, he's after becoming a bit of a cult hero now. Yeah, he is, it, yeah. Like, people have kind of started really. Well, I said this the first time we had him on. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's a. The dude goes out and works, right? He has yeah. kids. Like, how many fans of this sport are in the same situation as Neil? And then he's going and performing at that level, beating guys at that level. That's massive, yeah. dude. That's that is cult following. That's what it's for. Like you, like people find something in you that they can relate to. And Neil has tons of that. He, he kind of played the long game because when he came in, he'd like run run out of Rhino when the last showed up for cameras. And yeah, but stuff. he doesn't. He doesn't like it. Yeah. He, does, he doesn't like the it's long game. It's on his way. terms. That's no, why yeah, I think he all the media like the he does. It's on his yeah. terms, and he, you know what I mean. And yeah, he's probably comfortable coming and talking to us because he knows he us. He fucking so. hates people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he just sit down. he knows us and stuff. Like it's like he doesn't feel like it's gonna be awkward question. I, I get the feeling from he just wants to go and fight people, yeah. which again then makes people like him even more. Yeah, you know, yeah. Kind of, he's, I only said this to him the other day. I said, uh, I was, I, we were doing something in the gym. And I said, "You're a weirdo." You know that? And he was like, uh, "Boy," and he thought I was like, "I was like," because I was thinking back like on UFC Dublin and. Um, like when he's in the tunnel, you know, like literally just somebody's already called you, are in the tunnel downstairs ready to walk out. He's seeing people walking past him and stuff, and he's there jabbing them and <laughs> like laughing, joking and laughing. Joking, I'm like, you're going out for the biggest fight of your career, pal. Because I hit the guy, and then he just goes in, and second, he, second he steps in there. Mm. He loves um, fighting more than I, I think anyone that comes from the he just loves it like, yeah. he, like you can see this smile on his face when he's in there it's like it's like going walking the dog for him like, yeah, he, just, yeah. he just loves it like, this, is, this is his area this is where yeah, he likes yeah. to be like. I think it's just because he's so good at it and it, it's just uh, I think that's a mindset as well like you know um, like, like, we get nerves bad like, mm. really bad I'm the same. to get out there yeah, and I'm the once you're in the like, once you're in the cage where you just say like, fuck it here we are you're not you're going to get fucked in the mouth either way yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but that guy just he, he, he's in the back and he's joking around and usually when I'm fighting we get to a certain point the joke and stops and then it, yeah he's doing the pads uh, oh yeah you're tick hunting you know still hitting it and stuff like that and hang on you got 30 seconds left chill out there you know what I mean <laughs> And then he goes out and does the business. I see some, some like, uh, like I see that like with certain fighters I know as well. Some guys that I, I'm kind of similar to you. Where you see, like the whole mood in the room changes yeah. for the last like half an hour before the fight. You know what? Uh, the intensity rising. As soon off. as somebody says to me, "Get your hands wrapped." Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think I've got a bit of a cough. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it now. And so it's very unique for it to fire that kind of that situation. I, do you know what? I spoke to John Fitch about this years ago, and he said to me, like, some guys get it after five fights, some guys get it after 15, some guys it could be 50. Just yeah. it clicks differently. Now, it'll be different for everyone, but the comfort, will, you know, coming in takes so many fights. Like, and it, it depends on the person. Like, Connor's very relaxed at the back. Very, but has been for years. After the weigh-in, kind of very relaxed. Yeah, he just, he's just kind of he's just back to normal yeah. again, you know. And then, um, like, I, I get mad nervous. Like, Artem's kind of a strange one. Like, he, I think he just fought so often that it just became kind of second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, Artem, yeah. It just became second nature to him, you yeah. know. But like, that's that's where the good good coaches come in because they can feel what fighter needs what, you know. Like, Andy yeah, obviously yeah. knows what you need, knows what Neil needs. <coughs> he doesn't try to project what he does with you on Neil. Cause it just yeah. wouldn't work. It'd be a horrible situation for Neil. And the the same with you. If he's joking and laughing with you. You'd be like, dude, like, yeah, 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 I'm gonna get fucking yeah, battered yeah. in a minute. <laughs> Don't be fucking doing this, you know. So that's where the good coaching comes in, figuring out what guys need what. Like. Yeah. But um, yeah, you see, like it is. It's fighter to fighter. But I think a certain amount of fights, everyone kind of clicks to their comfort zone, and yeah. it just becomes second nature. I got got to say as well, it was um, it was good to see Cole in that shop business that he's opening up. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like looking at. Is it nice? It's gorgeous. It's in oh, Fairview. Yeah, actually. I haven't had it. Over there. It's actually a, a client of mine that owns the. That Bruce oh, Lee. Brian, yeah, Bruce, yeah, 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 yeah. Brian, you know Brian. Yeah. And and uh, is his name not actually Bruce Lee? I think his name is Brian Bruce Lee. Right. No, can we just call him Bruce Lee? It sounds Bruce cool. Lee owns Bruce a new Lee. restaurant. It's <laughs> uh, But there's one in one in Fairview and one in uh, Baggett Street, and then they're franchising now. Cole had uh, kind of trained a few times with him, so he does uh, grapple him with me, but he's getting really yeah. good. Like, he's, he's, so, right. he's in some oh, shape. He's, yeah, he's Jesus beast. Christ. Yeah, he's, he's in serious nick. He chopped his death for you, you know? <laughs> yeah. that, that's what he's trying to promote body. anyway, like sprayed on his body, tattooed across. <laughs> him, yeah, yeah. 
Where's the opening day shop? At uh, uh, Cole. I don't yeah. know if I can give that information. Oh, he? No, he, oh, hasn't, no. he, hasn't, he hasn't said no. I can't say that. Then. Well, Thank no. God I saved myself there. Reggie <laughs> Bullock <laughs> hanging me out. Like, no, but uh, no, I think no. he's got to open. Push it. It'll probably be the new year. Like they're probably definitely like sponsored this podcast. Maybe can give us a few. Yeah, they'll definitely sponsor the yeah. podcast, after especially that, after we've after dropped that in there. <laughs> to be honest, I get free salads all the time. So oh, you're yeah. getting fucked over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it's, it's actually really nice and it's great coming up to fights because it's handy. Like. But yeah, I, wasn't, yeah. I wasn't talking about just to pitch it in there. Like I'm talking about like, isn't it good to see a guy kind of planning for a life after yeah, a fight? Yeah, like, I mean, it's, no, but it, you see Cole, a lot Cole's of guys. a smart guy. Like, like, no, but you, know, you see so many see guys. Yeah, yeah, of course. We're still living in Mazgav, so we're not planning to pass tomorrow. We'll <laughs> still, man, you're the UFC and living in your Mazgav. <laughs> you never live. Fucking house, hell. I'm, to... I'm up in the penthouse. You and Siri, <laughs> every time <laughs> we talk to you, they're like fucking man childs. Like, <laughs> I still have a fucking phone with credit on it. Like, I bought yeah. five euros. That's in bad. No, he's a Mac. That's in bad. He'll ring it and he'll hang up. Oh, he'll, ring, he'll sting you. When he needs to ring you, he just yeah. rings and hangs up. Oh, and he laughs laughs there. There. but he has he a full time job there. and he's getting like obviously paid to fight and he just won a bonus. So yeah. He has more money than any fighter I and know. He, like. he, and he laughs at yeah, you. Yeah. You're ringing me back, you yeah. tick. <laughs> if you want to talk to me, I don't want to talk to you. Just you know one me? ringing John Redmond all night. Yeah. <laughs> Frank calling him. That's, that's what they're like saying to, like, to, to me when I was, when I was getting asked about it. They're like, this must be a really life changing moment for Neil Siri to win this money. I was like, no. Yeah, <laughs> like, he has to pack them up one day. Yeah. Don't even bring the fucking kids to Disney Lab. He's yeah, like, he's some <laughs> scumbag. Like. It's, not, it's not like it's, all right, it's a lot of money. But nah, it's, it's, not, not, it's not as much money as people think. No, but, yeah. Does that get taxed as well? So it gets taxed 30% and it's and then dollars. And cha- then change it over to yours. So it's probably about like 30,000 30, euro. A little but bit like, less the end. Long as totally grand last year. Yeah, realistically if you have days. if you have a mortgage <laughs> yeah if you have a mortgage and bills and stuff like that cocaine prostitutes that's it yeah. about an hour and a half about an hour and a half I'd say yeah. you could do it in he's totally grand up against the wall like fucking yeah. really sharpish you know if you didn't look after I, I, that's what I think when I, when I think about uh, UFC and stuff I think that's a big part of it as well. I think people have this perception that you guys are, are just minted all these MMA yeah, players it's professional. because it's because uh, that we're athletes and professional athletes uh, people like equate to soccer players or you know all this kind of and the money they make like mm. so they think we're, we're on TV <coughs> we're making the same money NFL you think of American sports NFL NBA all yeah, that those guys are on so that's money, money. But money that's, like, that's danger money proper danger money oh, what like POC isn't danger nah, that's <laughs> for softies <laughs> man <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. fuck off people. but it's a labour of love though do you know what I mean? Like it really is the sport. But it has to be, or you wouldn't do it. Yeah. Well, I only picked it up just to fucking drop a few pounds. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't genuinely. Dropping more pounds than you thought now, yeah. aren't you? Standing really on the scales really like a fucking smackhead. Genuinely head. didn't fucking. I didn't even get into two star fighting, and then they were like, "I go and take." How fat were you on a scale of one to fat, like one to ten? Fat. I don't know if Chris remembers me from like me pure fat days, but yeah, it was heavy. How big were your gels? I, th- I think I've uh, I've worn fat picture on Facebook. It's somewhere in me, in, in me out. And uh, yeah, like I'm in a group with all my mates, and like, you can't see any of them. It's just <laughs> and then Kelly hanging out the bottom of it. Oh, you must great. be you must be just look at yourself in the mirror. And then you pull yourself up, just you're a success yeah. story of the sport. Like. I still have I still have some in fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a success story of the sport, though. Then yeah, yeah, but I just uh, I always did it. Like, just that's life changing. Yeah, but it's life changing. Yeah. But look, it'll, it'll end somewhere and then you'll go and do something different. Yeah, of course. You know? yeah. You'll, always, you'll always train though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that's how I feel about it. I'll always, like, when I get older, I'll start putting on a gi and working do jiu-jitsu. At the moment, I only roll no gi. Because yeah. he can be fast and explosive and no yeah. gi. And then, um, when I'm a bit older, I put the gi on. And kind that's of it, like, I think uh, the gi suits everyone when they, when they, they stop training in MMA. Like, no one wants to spar for the rest of their days and yeah. punch in the head, you know? Yeah. So, I think when, once it's all slower, done. It's so much slower, like. You know what I mean? the gi? Yeah, I think so. Like, oh yeah. Like well, you, you get handled so easy. If yeah. you do just go no gi and then you come back, you put the gi on. Next time, just soy control stuck. Yeah, but I'm stuck here. Especially when you get guys my way, it's like a fucking you're rolling with a gorilla with a duvet wrapped around. <laughs> <you>. yeah, <laughs> like a disaster. Like, I stopped like. training the gi for about six months. I came back and I was just like, mm. I was stuck in in a big pile of mud on the ground. Like I just didn't know how to move. Forget it, the man. grips. The grips are so different. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just it's very hard. But I, I think for MMA, I think rolling in the gi is good. Yeah, because if you can escape bottom in the gi, you're not yeah. going to have any issues with no gi. But it's, it, the, the progression like like with techniques is probably a bit slower than it would be no gi. You know, kind of yeah, you can slip out of things. Yeah, you can slip out of You can, you can, you can set up things a little bit easier with the gi. Like if you're grabbing the lapels and you can yeah. literally physically yank somebody. Um, 
Yeah, if you're going for a sweep, you can drag the arm across. Like yeah. You can literally physically drag it across. Yeah. Whereas no gi, it kind of has to be a little... And then around, around, around into the MMA, you know, full-blown well, sweaty looking yeah. to it. I think that's interesting that you are saying that the, the gi is good for MMA because you hear a lot of guys just to, to throw it well, away. Well, think about it. Like if, 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 if I'm side so control bottom, right? Uh, escaping is difficult no matter what, right? But escaping no gi is easier than it is escaping with the gi on. So everything slows down a bit. So now everything has to be technically perfect for me to get out. Right. Then you take it off and you're flying. Yeah, okay, you know? okay, I understand. But I'm not into the long game. I just go, ah, fuck it, I'll just roll to my knees and go that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, this, I'm quite surprised, and I said this to you as well, that um, the cards there leading up to Vegas, there's no Irish people on them What are cards. I thought they were going to make sure the Irish would be there Don't each that, night. Like, like, no, what, what, really what, Thursday, Friday. Friday. Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Saturday. Saturday. What's, what's the Friday? The Friday is that... The tough finale. Van oh, that's Mendes and, and Frank Yeager. And that's then the, the tough finale. And then the other one's so Paige. So no Irish Pantan. guys in tough? No. No, no, so no Irish guys in tough? No. Isn't it? No. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? The uh, Like, I they thought they'd guarantee, like, as well as that Van Zandt card and um, who's she fighting now? Nami Yunus. Yeah. I thought they'd have them each day because Irish fans, man, they'll go to every... Yeah. Once says no, that's all they need, yeah. like. They don't want they'll to. Do, they'll do... Yeah, they can't they clean the place. They don't want them. Like, uh, like, Chris, you and Neil were talking about on one of the other podcast. When they were all fighting in Vegas, they didn't even know they thought Neil was caught a pendant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So very similar in appearance. Yeah, so is as well. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, It'd be really hard to tell them apart if they stood together. Like, but like, I think, like, I think I, I, the orders are just there to see Connor over there. You know, it's not like mm. that's just the way it is. You know, I feel like it's not all of them because even for not s- all of them. Not for serious fighting like and that. smoker, like I no, look at. I see people that I saw at Cage Warrior shows. At these things, like they, no, I'm not, not saying like I'm no, not but, no, you're not wrong either. Like, no, yeah, yeah, certainly the, a big percentage. Yeah, there, there's saying. a massive percentage there that I'm going like this, this lad doesn't even know like particular moves that are going on in the fights. Yeah. Like, he doesn't know positions. I tell you, it was good to see though um, when Barney came around, a full house for that. But not only it, it was full, it was that everybody had was clued into what was going. It was on. Educated, it was, like, yeah, yeah. They were all, like, I love that when they ground go, like, the soil when hit the ground. Yeah. Everyone goes, oh, yeah. I love this. So, well. someone, someone goes from half guard back in the garden. Everyone applause. Yeah, yeah brilliant, brilliant, boys, brilliant. brilliant. I love that shit. <laughs> yeah, gets me hard. I'm telling you, that shit gets me hard. I'm like, oh, that's it was brilliant. Never good atmosphere, and I think uh, the one in February will do well. Yeah, anyway. yeah. The only thing I think I'd say just from just from like that card of the Holland being there from the from the to start to finish, it was looks it was a bit too long. A I think, I think they'll learn from that. I yeah. think they put too many fights on and I think there's too many breaks in between. Mm. Well, yeah. they kind of had to do that with the TV and stuff, didn't they? Yeah. They kind of had to sync it up with the you know, different stages yeah. of bro- broadcasting. Although if you have, understand, they have to yeah, get... Yeah, but they have, they have to organise that because people, people stand around for fucking uh, 40 minutes between a fight, they're, especially in... That was Dublin. the last four, three or four fights, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, my, my fight on, yeah, I think it was. And they're just going to slaughter the drinks. Like, yeah. You know, they're just going to be slaughtering drinks. Most people don't drink that much, though. Like. No, just... And then, <laughs> like, it worries me in Ireland, the England crowd, I just hope it fucking... I'll hold out. No, I don't think that'll. Uh, I don't think that'll do what and um, sort of bad. There was a lot of e- there was a lot of English fans mixing it grand there that night. Like I mean, uh, it came out. I just don't think. A lot of people I just don't think uh, MMA sort of brings that English Irish team. No. To, but I think it's uh, that sort of just done away with it. You know what I mean? Because even honest. even Northern Ireland and the Republic, that they're always seeing the people always say like, oh, Norman's nah, not. Yeah. No, he is hundred uh, percent. Like, for me, yeah, like MMA does the, the rugby a thing. Fucking yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, for me, it's like the rugby thing with. Uh, yeah. In, in MMA, like we're because we all came up together, yeah. Finding shows up north, they were fighting down here, we were meeting each other all the yeah. time. So we're all in it together, like it's, it's like whenever you get stuff. someone saying that shit, you know, they, they literally have followed zero MMA until about last year, yeah. And they got into it, you know what I mean? Because that's yeah. the Irish scene's always been just the island, you know what I mean? It's yeah, it always been, has because yeah. we've had to. Because, like, like literally, just the, when I started, there was fucking no middleweights in the Republic yeah. for me to fight, like, there was no one in Ireland, like, for me to be fighting. So I was going up north or over to England for all my fights, like, mm. from my second fight onwards. And come here, how do you think now? Obviously, you had a, a bit of a mental week there the last time you were about yeah, yeah. with, with your first barn coming along. Do you think that's like, do you think now this February card you can properly take a look? Because I mean, I heard about you were trying to get to the hospital, then run the train, then run them back yeah, there. You were yeah, trying yeah. to do everything, you know yeah. what I mean? But like, uh, to be honest, I felt good in there. I, that didn't feel you like. You look it. good too. Yeah, I, yeah. Felt, I felt like really good. I felt back to where I should be, but. um. Just a stupid mistake, yeah. you know. That's you were, you were. <laughs> stupid mistakes happen. You were winning the fight. Ah, yeah, yeah. I think I was well ahead. I, I you might have won. 
All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude tapped from a fucking Camorra, but you know, that's that was, not. I don't really blame him on that. Like, that's no, the ref's business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if he, if your LT two tap knows exactly what I'm two talking tap, about. Yeah. You that's say. what people don't know. With Neil's name, is. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a scumbag. Now, now, now we'll see how many of those <laughs> new fans like him. The scumbag. I'm gonna try and go tap. They love him because he is a scumbag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then the ref blade lets him go. Well, I'm out. Take that and then back in the triangle again. <laughs> that, that was a that was a scene though. You you missed what was going on outside the the, the cage when the, when you when your fight was finished. You had Gav from Severe MMA with his camera. He's over there showing the referees. Everyone's like, look, look there, look there. It was going on for like 15 oh, minutes backstage tapped, and everything. He tapped to a Kimura, yeah. He tapped, he tapped what, as he was in there. Yeah, it was a bit snaky. He though. tapped like, and I thought there was two. I, I thought there was two, two or three. Yeah. There's that and then there's that as he rolled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but it was, know. we did it well though. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Have the a look at French that video. Did us again. <laughs> fucking Thierry on read me. Didn't he the bollocks? But, um, yeah, man. It's I, I think, like, uh, to, it, for me, like, it'll just be preparation as normal. I'm looking forward to finding, a, a, like, a bit of a goo on me now. I kind of, I don't know, I keep fucking falling out of love, love yeah. finding falling back in love with it, you know? I, I think I'm, like, I'm like, ah, there's a bollocks. Like, after that, I went upstairs, threw a few bottles of water around the chain rooms, took a little freak out, got changed, went home. Mm. Went home, my wife handed me my kid, and I was like, yeah. I don't give a bollocks about any of this yeah, anymore. Yeah. That's that done. Like, yeah, exactly. Kind of concentrating that for a while now, and then, uh, like, started back training about a week ago, two weeks ago properly. I've always been rolling, like, in between, yeah. but, and then I'll just kind of blast now until February. But fine, it's fine. Just fun. I just yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. You know, and it's, when it's not that anymore, I'll do something else. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I kind of always set myself, I'm 32, 35, I'm, I'm done. Mm. Whether I was fighting for, for, like, next fight was for a UFC title, or whether it's fucking fighting in a school hall somewhere 35 I'm done I don't give a shit like. is that something you're going to have to you have to make that agreement with yourself I'm going to do it like, and, and stick to it Like I need to walk away I just point. think at 35 like if, if, if you start at 33 35 you're still good I started at about 24 fighting properly Like I just think 10 years like miles on miles on the clock and all I think that that's long enough to be doing it for me Like I, I, I'd say the injuries will start to mount up then and getting hit in the head regularly is not a good thing you know that, yeah. and like I, I don't want you to be specific about it but like you guys carry a particular injury like that that has kind of plagued you for a few years into fights and all this or anything no I've actually been alright a uh, few little things like will always crop up my back does be at me um, my hand like I think I've some scar tissue and that like even that is really, yeah. quite painful but uh I'm sure you will out of it. Look at this. I can't fucking change my kid. I have to kneel down to change his nappy because my back just <laughs> seizes up. Like my That's lower just back. from grappling for so many years. Just, yeah, just lifting. All lower back, doing, is it? Yeah, doing, just seizes up. Dumb shit. So uh, I have some stuff from a physio that I do, and when I actually do it, it's grand. <laughs> But, yeah, uh, you know yourself. You do it for a month or two, and then Sitting you go. Sitting in the gas fucking down rehab. I yeah, fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to hit pads. <laughs> you know, that that's the way. I, I think and then give him a phone call. Let him show in bits. Yeah, why isn't this getting fixed? You know what I mean? It's yeah. like I think I think golf fighters have a little bit of ADHD. Like I think I think we get bored doing like kind of that little intricate stuff. We like doing like like sparring and we like like rolling hard yeah. and we like all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm not I'm complaining about it after. I think yeah, I think. I think fighters have that, and I think high level jujitsu guys have OCD. I think they just like they get lost in the little tiny details. <coughs> that. Yeah, you could talk to like a uh, like a person who plays jujitsu about like what way you're grabbing the wrist if you're using your tongue. Yeah. What way are you using your tongue? Like, yeah. yeah, like fifteen minutes. Just grab it. Yeah. That's, that's that's my <laughs> approach. Just grab it. Like, like this motherfucker with ankles. Just grab it. You'd be yeah. grand. Like. What's it like? Like that's a thing. Like and there's not like, is it? Do we have many that like one like particular thing that you're just amazing at like? Is it always daily? Like, fucking good at that. To ah, would you fuck? Do you know, do you know what it is? Though? We all. Yeah. I, I swear to God. I know God. loads of lads that play it. Do you know what it is though? He just has the balls. Like, he just goes for it because you're losing. That's position. all you have to you're do. If I'm caught on the other end of that and it doesn't pull off, I'm on the bottom and I have fucked up my position yeah. from being in a good. You're losing. Do you remember that poor like, Greek lad? Yeah. God love him. That's when he it, went there, he, he went, went there. there he you look at Reds in that video and he starts smiling like, "Oh, you silly fuck." I thought I had the heel hook and then I had to change because they were giving away two grand for. The heel hooks, yeah, and yeah. then but that Dave, was good. I liked that. Yeah, like special idea. move. Yeah, Dave Dan had already got the heel hooks. Yeah. <laughs> Show us his special move. <laughs> Dan Gan had pulled off the heel hook before that, but I didn't know that once it was gone, it was gone. So I was going with the heel hook force force. And I said, oh, spending okay. the money in your head. Yeah. No, 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 I'm definitely. <laughs> That's what I was teasing. Yeah. I was looking at Graham one. I said, give me this fucking heel, and then like it wasn't happening. I said, just give me the towel. I'm good at it. Yeah, so, yeah. What do you think? Like as far as this, all this 
talk like this cage warriors talk hasn't stopped like it's like I'd like to see it back yeah do you think like could it's we, re- good. Could we really good benefit from two show. pro promotions yeah like, and it's only good to have it there's more lads than there ever was so I, think, like I think it's better if they come back that Bam is pushing stuff here It'll just make Cage Warriors work that little bit extra, put on a little bit of a better yeah. card, then bam, it'll try and outdo them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, and then don't fighters get paid more. Yeah, so and then the only one two benefits are the people watching it and then the fighters. And the fighters, as we were saying earlier, it's it's kind of hard sometimes when you're seeing Irish guys against Irish guys all the time because yeah. you know like one of them has to take a step back, one of them has to take, take a step forward. And at least you know when Cage Warriors and Bama are bringing international fighters. Yeah, you know, they're bringing international yeah. fighters over yeah. in a different dynamic. Yeah, that, yeah, that, the, the the smaller shows, it's it's like they're they're doing a great job as well. Like um, the show the other night, Clamors. Yeah, Clamors. was it Chaos? Chaos, Clamors, Clamors, Clamors. Sorry. Chaos. Yeah. Not actually. And they had a, like a, a, a good few pro fights on the car, but they obviously can't afford to be shipping lads in and putting them in hotels for three yeah. days and all I that. I tell you, stuff. what I do like about uh, K drivers is they go. They don't do it as big as Bam and the point, and I'd rather the show in the Helix, Helix than, like than the point. That was a man. Them nights were absolutely electric. My my yeah, uh, well, like apparently there was seven thousand people there for one of them. Oh, I think it was Connor fight. Twenty five thousand. Everyone you meet, I was at that. Were you? Were you? Oh, it's just fifteen hundred people there. You <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where's your bollocks there? Everybody, right? everybody you meet when you're in. In Vegas they were, tells you that they're. Oh, they were there for the booting or fight. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. I was there for the booting away. Yeah, the booting away. You're blind. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, my my, uh, my friends and family are always going about the helix. They fucking loved it. Yeah. Great loved it. Well. Absolutely great. Yeah. I remember um, me, you, Neil, Carl, I think Connor was the man. We're all on the card. And then, so the card started off, and then as the night was getting on, getting as the night was getting the yeah. crap. So, but then I walked out, I think I was the first out, uh, the last sort of five to, to fight on it. The place went bleeding mad. And then when Chris walked out, got a little bit bigger. Neil walked out, got a little bit bigger. And I says, I can't get any bigger than that. And then Connor won the, the belt. And yeah. yeah. The place went bleeding Then they had a main know. event for the heavyweights afterwards. Right? And everyone left. Yeah. 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 Everyone left for the heavyweights. It was a horrible yeah. fight. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What are you doing? Like, oh, well, I'll probably shut my mouth so I'll get credentialed at the next cage. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, do, you, I, do you actually think they'll come back? Yeah. Well, you're managed by. No. Are you not managed by intention? I used to be. Uh, oh, right. Not anymore. Oh, um, right. But then I'd like to, uh, as I said, I would like genuinely like to see it come back. Uh, not even, even just from uh, somebody who who likes watching fights. Mm. It's not on a stupid clock. You can watch it at, like yeah. conclude into it at eight o'clock in the High evening. High level fight. Now who who's going to be fighting here after? That's what I liked about it. When I actually prefer watching the likes of Bama and Cage Warriors to watching the UFC because I actually know most of the guys. I've seen them fight a few times. I probably met them. Yeah. Back to, you know that kind of way, a different thing. I, unless it depends on the show, but like no, most of the time I'm like. So, like the old Cage Warriors days, it would, uh, if I wasn't on the card, even if it was in Jordan, you'd be on it. Or yeah, something, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, or there'd be someone that I might be fighting coming up, you know? And even even then, like you, you're looking at divisions, because you know the Irish, there's so many Irish players involved yeah. in yeah, these promotions. Because when, yeah. when you see, like, you know, say it's well, like, 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 this guy could meet Bam have obviously picked up on that, so that's what they're trying to replicate now. Oh, they're doing know? a great job. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can feel, you can feel that the, like, it kind of. MMA is nearly at saturation point in Ireland and this is like people want to go to these shows yeah. now and like that's why you can have a show in the point and get so many people in there you know what I mean yeah and yeah. I, I think what people don't realise is that it was a massive a massive thing before you got to the UFC that so many people already already knew it you know yeah. what I mean like I mean yeah. they already know you already know how you fight like you know what I mean everybody's talking here comes Reds watch out for these toe holes yeah. you know yeah, everybody fucking knows about it even the fire yeah, yeah, so yeah, if yeah. you're fighting him yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. keep your distance yeah. <laughs> put your toes off yeah yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, is there so anyone is there anyone you'd like to fight at the moment is there someone that you're looking so at in the division I would, I would don't pay any fucking attention to that like, just where we get the call give about. me anyone I, I, I've been called out a couple of times on Twitter and that what the fuck are you getting called out for I do nothing for nobody's career in the whole fucking <laughs> UFC and I, I, and I call him out I'm like you know, I don't pay too much attention to it just because what is the point I, I, I don't get into that Twitter shit I fucking like, I post up so if some, if some lad writes, writes a dickhead comment and then he's like oh, whatever or, or I'll, I'll like argue it. my case yeah, yeah kind of way. I tend to be a bit political on Facebook Seriously, but uh, other than that left, right and centre now and he just he says yeah to everyone going gang, <laughs> yeah, 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 gang. yeah 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 I can't fight 10 people at once yeah, just yeah. say dead you know he just writes back stand and bang question mark yeah. all the time I think yeah. guillotines the fuck yeah, out of them yeah. like the snake I'm sneaky the snake he's such a snake yeah man it's it's funny like I know from my own friends that are like just fans of the sport obviously I'm a fan as well and um, 
they kind of say, do you see them two lads talking on Facebook? Yeah. He said he's going to smack him. And, like, and they're it professional fighters. Fuck off. They yeah. want to fight. Like You know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. matter. Like. Sure, listen, I can tell you for a fact there's a bunch of dudes that called Conor out that would never want to fight him. They, it'd be the fuck. Like, they, like you know, they'd be like, I want to fight Conor. I want Conor. <coughs> you don't. You, oh, yeah. you 100% don't. Well, you want the just, headline. Just even, yeah. You want but the even, money from the fight. Yeah, that's yeah. The but fight the, the styles, like, style-wise, you know this is a terrible match. You're a striker and you're not that good. You but, know what I kind of like? But it's trying to align yourself, um, you know, because Connor's Connor's obviously astronomical famous here. Like, if they Con- talk Con- about... Connor has to be, the, like, the, the most famous sports person. One of the most famous... Oh, in Ireland. Celebrities. Of course. Yeah, he's, of course. He's, 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 he's crossed that boundary. Like, I mean, yeah. it's not just he's an MMA fighter. It's Conor McGregor. It's Conor McGregor now. Like, it's... Yeah, I see it when I'm talking to people like that. You're there going, "This is fucking weird." Like, yeah. Cause like, yeah. it's, it, only be, only because the fact that it's uh, like we all know him from like you, you know yeah. him because yeah. as long as you do, but we all know that he was like fighting the cage warriors and stuff like that, and just people are only seeing it now. You know, clearing the fence of battles on pissing Andy off. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he always had that. X Factor though, as in he was like, always the same. Very charismatic. He was always the same. I can, I can remember the first time I saw him. It was like Paddy Hillman was fighting in the cage at Barry Oglesby show in like 2009, 2010, and I couldn't take my eyes off this fella just roaring into the cage. I was like, yeah. "Who the fuck is this yeah, yeah. Like, You shut the yeah. fuck up! I told Conor McGregor to shut the fuck up once. <laughs> my, my brother was like, "I was like, who's that man? He won't shut." He's like, "Just shut up." He's brilliant though because he came running down to the cage uh, that night when he had a uh, battle zone. Remember that fucking great fight between Phil, oh, Mo Peter, and Gory? Sorry, yeah. yeah, and I was cornering like, and he came and he's standing here shouting. I was like, Connor, what the fuck? He's like, sorry, sorry. And he goes back to his seat like tr- literally a minute later, he's here again screaming. It. You know, it's it's just how he is. He's like, taking up a similar kind of position there for these tough fights. Yeah, he kind of he, he, he says, "I'm not going to corner lads. You <laughs> cornered him, and then he's up at the he's cage. Like, like, yeah. the cage. <laughs> I, like, because uh, when I when I fought uh, on. Cage contender in in the basketball arena, and yeah. he fucking he was standing beside. Uh, yeah, Johnny Jits. Yeah, that Johnny one, Jits. Yeah, that was my that was my like launch pad. That was my media launch pad. Yes, was out Blanchard's Town Shopping Centre when they did the weigh-ins. Oh, uh, Tala, no Tala oh, Square. Oh, oh, yeah. square. It's the square. Oh, oh, that was you had the big face. I still have pictures of that. It was we fucking bad. We were all upstairs. Because John wasn't part of the uh, team, yeah, he was like, still part of Russia at the time. The beef was hot then, man. And we just went Oof. down We just went down for a look. So we were on, like, there was a cafe, <coughs> say, up, and we were just looking right over. And we were like, go on, lads, give it to each other, go on, do it, like, proper square, and all these other fucking gas. They did another one, man, in uh, Conley Station. Roddy, oh, Roddy was yeah, fighting yeah, um, yeah. Shannon Gilgarty. Oh, so lads yeah. are trying to go and get their trains. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people. That was the weirdest place they could have ever done. Dude, like, like, we were trying to get he was mental, your man, John. Fucking Ferguson John Ferry, the lunatic. Like, like, why would you think Conley Station would be a good spot to do it? <laughs> Get the Terrible passing, spot. The passing, the yeah, passing anywhere is better than Hanley's yeah. station. Like, like, yeah, imagine you're, you're there tearing to get your train, you're going to be like, like get the fuck out of my yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't place. give a fuck if there's two lads in their shorts with no tops on standing up there. For the fake way in that we actually did the proper way oh, in for earlier that. on. I, was at, I couldn't believe that was a thing, right? Because I, I got to the thing once I was like, oh, the real way in's going and so we're going to do that later. I was like, what? Excuse me. Uh, like, listen, if they'd have made me go to that Tallis Square and wait to get weighed in, I swear to God, someone would have got a that, fucking book in the mouth. That makes perfect sense, but like, yeah. at the time, you know, I, I had no idea that kind of stuff yeah, happened. Drag me another three hours out of my day now to do this bollocks. Like, yeah. I, I'd never done any of them sort of uh, halfway in and then a public way. Yeah. And just fuck I used to think that's how the UFC was that's done. What, as soon as I, I, I saw that cage, and then I used to tell just everybody... Talk, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of bollocks. I used, See, to, like, think, I used to think that everything. was just show like, oh, yeah? for years until like un- until not so long ago. Like, until you were like, oh, wait, are you actually weighing in? Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. thought they weighed you in back at the hotel and then brought you out, you know. <laughs> for I wish. Be actually that. a good way to do it. Like. Mm. Fucking dudes collapsing on stage, looking like smackheads like this lad here. I, I actually, it's very worrying for me looking at some lads. Like, until I was up close, I never really noticed how, how bad Nick some weights. lads are in. Like, not, no, I'm not talking about you in particular. I'm talking about every... Like, the worst I think I ever saw was Benson Henderson weighing at 155. I was like, can't believe this lad is making this weight. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? To, to see not him... big, though, dude. Yeah, he's I know. big legs, like... But he's, I know, but like, his body... I was like surprised. Did you meet um, Cerrone? No. Uh, he was... Oh, no, she went there. <laughs> Boston. Um, You'll be there now soon. Yeah, Hopefully. Yeah. But uh, he fucking... Uh, I was really surprised, but, uh, like, he is not as big as I... I thought he was going to be near my height. Is, is he not six foot? He's... Probably five eleven. Is he? Yeah. I think that's a bit of bullshit. Cottle was a good bit taller than him. And Cottle, I think Cottle's like six or six one, and uh, he's not. He's not like bigger. I was reading. 
they have to make the weight, so they obviously can't be that yeah. big. But he just looks so big compared to lads. The, it's weird. People he stands like, very straight as well. Yeah. If you actually take it into consideration, he's missing half his stomach and here. Like that actually yeah. wears something. So he just yeah. probably walks around that little bit lighter, you know. Did you see that? Oh, you can use IVs. Then he did an article with Dwayne Finley, and he was like, "Oh no, I was only messing. I can't, I can't use it." But did you say to give it to him? No. He said he could, right? And he said you sat there letting him. But then all of a sudden the next day it's like, no, 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 I was only messing. This, I'm telling you, this IV thing is going to change. They'll change well, the rules. Well, everyone has to go. No, they'll change the rule. Because they, they're, they're just taking on all the rules from this. But it's a different sport than most of the other sports. And they're just saying, oh, it's, it's, they, they're going to have to change the rule. Mm. Lads are going to kill themselves. Like. Mm. But see, and the divisions uh, will all get fucked up because lads will be jumping. Well, that's the only, it's the only sport yeah. where, like, even, even wrestling, really, fair enough, you are dehydrating that point. Dehydrating yourself to the point where you're in bits. But you're not getting punched in the face yeah. for wrestling. The head head you, get, you, know, the you get punched yeah. in the head. There's no fluid in the brain. That's what you were yeah, explaining. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing like, and that's how you'll just get like I don't know. But does that not? Is that not? I'm not. I'm not saying for a that's second. That's part of the sport, like, and it, no, it, it, may, it makes. Would that not actually benefit you? If you have you guys floating around just for the spectacle of the sport? I know, like it, it obviously wouldn't want that happening. But I mean, see, like the the thing is, then like, like everyone, and this is what when I'm talking to people they're always like oh like you cut that much weight and I'm like yeah and they're like and what what like what about your opponent those they're probably similar close exactly. enough. and then well, why don't the twos just move up because he won't he might <laughs> so I'll move up and another lad is cutting yeah, from here down a, the best thing ever ever uh, well it's not the best because the, the two of us had to cut weight and we were struggling so like a far feel a couple of years back on uh, or some show but like I came in to the, the, yeah. the gym in the city centre and he was cutting weight so Chris was in the, the sauna with uh, Phil Phil was dying of death I thought it was on weight got there I was a little bit over fuck it to cut my weight so we got in the sauna me and Phil we're all having a bleed and checks we all know each other um, so the two of us were literally suffering cutting weight yeah. so he could out make weight I could out make weight went out far met each other back in the hotel so what way to walk into the air cage today? Yeah, about 78, 79. She's there, so did I. So why not just fight a fucking 78, yeah. 79? Yeah. Oh, you know, and, and both and, guys would have agreed <laughs> that they didn't want to do yeah. it. Yeah, Phil, did, Phil struggled that time, man. He fucking... What's the crack with Phil? Are we are we going to see him back in there? I don't know. Uh, he's kind of gone off and got a job for a while, so he's kind of figuring a few things out, but I'm sure we will. I was looking forward to seeing he's him. He's been in some classics, man. Breeze, no, no, uh, that guy on Barney. No, oh, yeah, yeah. That was going yeah. to be a good fight. I, I, lo- I love watching Phil fight. He's Always been have. in some serious, oh, he's a serious scraps. Beast, like. Gary, Donnelly. Man, they've been serious scraps. Like. He's, been, he's been unlucky a few times and uh, unlucky with stuff outside the case, like a few injuries and stuff like that. So I'll I tell you what, he's, he's never been unlucky it. with his appearance because he is a very handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going with the blonde hair. <laughs> going with the blonde hair, PT. You're sold. <laughs> You're them, sold. Them long golden locks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't like talking to the media, so it's a nightmare. I just want to tell him. He hates answers. talking to the media. Yeah. Yeah. Just that. Yeah. 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 But sure, we got Siri in the end. You know, Maybe bro. We'll I just, I just, you know, bro. I just. I didn't even know he was from like I thought he was from Dublin. Yeah. Yeah. Never even speak. Peter, like. You know, uh, so how do you feel about this fight? Ah, bro, you know, I feel great, you know. That's it, that's it, gone now. Is that what I meant to say? Yeah, 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 yeah. is that what I meant to say? That he's like, he just wants it out of there. Yeah. Just wants, he is that, he's the kind of, the thing, where, similar to what we were saying with you, he just wants to fight. Yeah. yeah. You know, he just likes fighting, he doesn't like all the bollocks. Well, I was trying to explain to him, you have to do the bollocks to do the fighting. You know? Or to fight at the higher level, you have to yeah. do the bollocks, you know. That's yeah. that's just the, it's part of the sport now, isn't it? Part of the package. Yeah. How are we doing? We're all right, we're, we have to get, these boys are busy men. What are you saying, peace? Two minutes. Two oh, minutes. Two minutes. We, we got two minutes. Is there, is there anything you'd like to talk about for two minutes? So you know me, lads. We just uh, talk about fucking anything. <laughs> Ballocks as usual. Yeah, that's it. You know what I mean? That's what um, I paid for. So we're so we're probably thinking London at this stage, February. Yeah, hopefully. So will that be then? Uh, you won't be dying over Christmas, though, will you? No, do you know what? I, it's I don't 70. really want to fucking try to blow up and. Um, eat crap over the Christmas just feel shit for it like I know what everybody says oh, it's great and all you don't trying to get trying to recover off and get back fit after eating that amount of shit it's just too hard so I'll probably I'll be trying over the Christmas anyway. right, so. and that was you actually you had your first Christmas in oh. years before that epic oh, week yeah, we had to do you, he you was did like, the Cage Warriors you did said, the like, Cage Warriors shows did you on, I did on, like I did two for Cage Warriors and I did, I did one, one for me. some other show uh, it wasn't on New Year's Eve it was like mid-January which right. was fucking weird um, so I did like three and one was like for late January before so far I was cutting weight over Christmas um, yeah I just never really thought we just did it it's miserable though isn't it oh, stop cutting us. over Christmas yeah like oh, the, the, the two for cage were the worst because literally seven days out in the fight that's when you start, start yeah. warm loading that's when you take it down to like a meal a day 
and they're walking in these cunts are all fucking at that table my ma's fucking my ma's a brilliant cook and uh, they'd be all like milling in I just walk in and I said yeah see us after cunts and going to bed like, so he just go upstairs <laughs> that's his family like, just called cunts yeah so like I would just he's, he's slowly morphing into Neil Sage see us after cunts yeah. uh, no, I, they would because they'd be like oh, and they they, 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 oh, they, they think it's okay. You can eat stuffing. You can eat stuffing. You can Pushes eat. Yeah. Not even that. So they say, say I down with them or whatever, and they're eating like they're eating chocolates or whatever. And they just turn off all around. They forget. Do you want one? Yeah. No, don't want one. Yeah. You know I'm cutting weight. <laughs> you know I'm cutting weight. So and then that's when I walk out. And that's just tell everyone. Oh yeah. I, I, like I did it once, and it just happened to be the first year I went to uh, my wife's family's house for dinner. Like. Fucking disaster! Yeah, so so yeah. a little, a little, a little plate like this of food, and then they started playing. Uh, they started like playing board games after you know all the family there. And Fuck I, this! No, I, the no I was sitting there going, "All right," and I do my thing, and then it'd be back around me. Like, need to go for piss. Need to go for piss. Need to go for piss. <laughs> oh, just no. like this, the whole fucking t- oh, it was horrible. Like, out running that night, and all, it was just misery. Just the misery. best was it, me and Neil were out in uh, Scotland for well, wasn't the best. It was good for him. So we were out in Scotland. Neil was doing a seminar over there, and. Uh, a guy called Rich Carlin had brought us over to his new gym, just brand new gym, and Neil did a seminar. And uh, they said, Oh, we're gonna take you out for dinner tonight. So we just thought it was like out for local, and it was actually this tracksuit was prime. And uh, Neil the had, only tracksuit you own, yeah. <laughs> and Neil, well, Neil had uh, a <laughs> prime tracksuit, he would wear that shit though. And he gave us a ring, said, Right, we're outside. So he literally pulled up in like uh, like this fancy Jeep Mercs and Range Rovers and all, they were all in tuxedos and all. We were rocked out in two, tax, uh, two tracksuits, so like. Legend. This is how we brought with us, lads. I oh, know you'd be grand. So we got to the hotel anyway, and uh, everybody else is in tuxedos. It's a five star hotel. There was Jesus a there was a Christ. Wedding on. Everyone from the wedding was in tuxedos oh. and shorts and, and like proper dressed in the night. So I'm cutting weight. I was at the having all my meals because I actually brought like 10, 15 meals over to Scotland with me. I cooked them on the house. Um, so I was sitting there, I was drinking water. Everybody at the table, you're not eating, you're not eating. No, I'm cutting weight, cutting weight, cutting weight. Neil sitting beside me, a big steak about that size, <laughs> like that. Build the team, points and all, like you're a fucking wanker. So, it, is, yeah. it is a lonesome time to be a fighter, isn't it? Cutting weight, it's a lonesome old time. Ah, it's horrible. It's not nice at all. I remember a call lost his shit once. We were, <laughs> I walked into a room with a pizza, oh, into a hotel room. Get the fuck yeah, yeah, he, Boston, he lost his yeah. shit at me. Like, he lost it. Because he's always like, I don't mind, dude. And actually, what he usually likes is you eat it and tell him what you thought of Just it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like, start going, like, he'd yeah. be like, what was, because that's what he'd be thinking about having then after the fire or whatever. And uh, I thought he'd be grand, but this walked there with a pizza, he fucking flipped out. <laughs> <laughs> he knew he was a happy camper like. well well remember no pizzas around Carl Pendrith yeah. and let's get red on the London card that's the one we want yeah let's, so let's, let's make a push for that let's get red on the London take card take all the people away from the point hashtag red, red London card, card. hashtag yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what's a good hashtag yeah reds are for London they always do that we need some different that, yeah yeah, yeah, fucking leave it there. Yeah, <laughs> someone, someone sending in to us. We'll decide from the options. Or... Go on, good luck. Nice. Thanks. <laughs>